Welcome back to another video with IDN TV. Now we're on part four with our news as far as this XXX Detention case goes. Now it started off this morning. Uh, it showed Dedrick Williams shopping, spending $800 in $100 bills the day after the XXX robbery. Now this actual footage is him at the store shopping of June 19th of 2018. Now they also show fingerprints of the getaway vehicle, which is a blue SUV. They also show some never before seen photos as well as X's coat and his hoodie. They also showed a house search of Dedrick Williams' house where they recovered a gold chain. Now, a lot of people came up speaking about their relationship with Dedrick Williams today in court. Now, first up, they brought up Miss Robinson. Now, she was saying that her and Dedrick Williams, also known as Chucky, they were like brother and sister. Now, it seems like the state is using these people on the stand against Dedrick Williams to pair him and connect him to Trayvon Newsom, Michael Bowright, and Robert Allen. Now, keep in mind, during this whole robbery, when it went down, the accused, Michael Boatwright, and Trayvon Newsom has not been seen on camera. They were allegedly covered from head to foot when the robbery took place. The majority of these questions during this interaction were to connect all three together and essentially connect them all together during that robbery. Um, now, the first girl is connected to Deidre Williams and all of the four people charged. Now, this girl, Ms. Robinson, was the actual person who rented the rental car. That was the getaway vehicle during this robbery. Now, she says that Dedrick Williams called her the day before to ask her to rent a car. And did she agree? And she actually drove to get Big Rob, also known as Robert Allen. The bank deposited some money, and then they went to the Toro pickup location. Now, she says that Big Rob and Boatwright were with her to go get the car. Now, she says she used the app called Toro. They rented the car for only one day get in the car the lady on the stand said that they went to Dedrick Williams house and she actually went her own separate way and went to work now this happened on a Sunday now the next day Monday now this is the day the robbery went down and the killing went down around the earlier hours of the afternoon fast forward now 5 30 p.m. after the incident went down Dedrick Williams showed up to the girl's house Ms. Robinson who actually initially rented the car she said that they informed her that they crashed the getaway car. She said all of them gave her a total of $1,000 and she had to take the Toro rental car back to the owner's house and pay for the damages. Now, another person that came up was Dedrick Williams' ex-girlfriend. Now, she spoke. During her testimony, she said that she was a teacher and at the time in 2018, she was in a relationship with Dedrick Williams and wished they were together for about a year. Now, it was her, Dedrick Williams, her four kids, and Dedrick Williams' mother living in the household together at the time. Now, she says Dedrick didn't have a bank account, so he kept a lot of cash. So she really didn't know how much money he had at the time of this ex-robbery. Now, she says on that day that it went down, she was at work, and Dedrick Williams was supposed to be at home doing tattoos. Now, Dedrick Williams, also known as Chucky, admitted later to that day that he went to the bike shop to look for some bike parts. Now, she also revealed that Dedrick Williams was with three other people at that bike shop. Now, the ex-girlfriend also admitted that Dedrick Williams said that the robbery wasn't supposed to go down like that. He says that he knew who the shooter was and that he knew them personally. Now, later on in court, it was brought up that an Alfred David that she wrote 
To say that he was not the driver during the ex robbery, in which the courts are saying that this is totally false, that Dedrick Williams was the driver. Now, the girlfriend at the time admitted that she followed Michael Bartwright on social media around the time of X's robbery and killing. 